Crossfire quiz about wasting time. Not counting weekends, how many days off have House members taken so far this year? Is it 15, 21, or 28? We'll have that answer when we get back. This is water. You've never seen it behave this way. Imagine a surface being rained on, but never wet. Spilled on, but never wet. Submerged, but never wet. Experience Rust-Oleum Neverwet, a revolutionary super hydrophobic treatment that causes liquids to form perfect spheres so they roll off surfaces like never before. Just spray it on and it's never wet. Find out more at rustoleum.com slash neverwet. Back pain? Get the same kind of therapy without an appointment. New smart relief from Icy Hot. Press a button and relaxing pulses quickly block even chronic pain. It's wireless and easy to use. New smart relief from Icy Hot. No appointment necessary. Really? So our business can be on AT&T's network for $175 a month? Yep, all five of you for $175. Our clients need a lot of attention. There's unlimited talk and text. We're working deals all day. You get 10 gigabytes of data to share. What about expansion potential? Out of line, anytime for 15 bucks a month. Low dues, great terms. Let's close. New AT&T Mobile Share Value Plans. Our best value plans ever for business. Covidian has been unlocking their potential with the New York Stock Exchange since 2007. And today, Covidian continues to make a difference in patients' lives on the biggest stage in business, the New York Stock Exchange. Hey, I'm Ted, and this is Rudy. Say hi, Rudy. Oh! <laughs> I'd do anything to keep this guy happy and healthy. That's why I'm so excited about these new milk bone brushing chews. <laughs> I'm not the only one. It's a brilliant new way to take care of his teeth. Clinically proven as effective as brushing. Okay, here you go. Have you ever seen a dog brush his own teeth? The twist and nub design cleans all the way down to the gum line, even reaching the back teeth. They taste like a treat, but they clean like a toothbrush. Nothing says you care like a milk bone brushing chew. If you're like us, dogs and cats have always been more than just pets. They're part of the family. So when they need some help getting around, don't settle for less than the best. Give them Cosequin. Lots of brands compare themselves to Cosequin, but they're not. Only Cosequin is Cosequin, supporting pets' joint health for nearly two decades. Choose Cosequin, the number one veterinarian-recommended retail joint health supplement brand. Our vet recommends Cosequin, so it's the only brand we trust. Cosequin, available at veterinarians, retailers, supercenters, and club stores. Good news. Christian Mingle has over 13 million registered members, nearly 4 million new members in the past year alone. Sometimes we wait for God to make the next move when God is saying it's your time to act. The next move is yours. Joining is easy and free. Find God's match for you at ChristianMingle.com today. Sunday on an all-new Morgan Spurlock Inside Man. Morgan gets church from the faithful to an atheist assembly. See Morgan take the pulpit and preach. Now I want to talk about home. Morgan Spurlock Inside Man. Sunday night at 10, only on CNN. ideas for using up leftover paint, recycle the rest with Paint Care. Find a drop-off location at paintcare.org. The best collection of modern art in the world is in Philadelphia at the Barnes Foundation. See work from the greatest European and American masters of post-impressionism and early modern art. Whether it's a painting, a piece of furniture, or a piece of metalwork, everything is thoughtfully designed. at barnesfoundation.org. I'm Anderson Cooper. This is CNN. Welcome back. Here's the answer to our Crossfire quiz. Not counting weekends, House members have taken 28 days off so far this year. That is more than five weeks off. And next week makes six. So what have they accomplished? Well, they haven't taken up immigration reform, but moments ago they voted to investigate Benghazi for the fifth time. They haven't uh, extended unemployment benefits that ran out last Christmas, but they want a special prosecutor to investigate the IRS. They haven't done anything about equal pay for women, but 
They held a woman, Lois Lerner, in contempt of court for daring to invoke her Fifth Amendment rights. They haven't passed a jobs bill or a highway construction funding bill either, but they voted to repeal Obamacare for the 50th time. Representatives Javier Becerra and Aaron Schock are in the crossfire. Let me, uh, if I could, start with uh, Congressman Becerra. And, and something which has emerged only in the last two days, I think, extends and deepens the uh, concern about Benghazi and about the whole question of uh, Secretary Clinton as the Secretary of State. As you know, uh, the group uh, Boko Haram in Nigeria is a Islamist extremist group. They are fanatics. They are very dangerous. They have killed several thousand people. And now they have kidnapped uh, some 300 girls, uh, have released some of the 300. Um, but it turns out, and this was a surprise, I think, to everybody, that while Secretary Clinton was at the Secretary of State, they turned down designating this group as a terrorist group. It was only when John Kerry came in that they were designated, and apparently the Africa Command and others had all asked to be designated. Uh, don't you think, again, in terms of legitimate questions by the Congress, that finding out why was this group not designated, asking questions about how the decision was made, is actually a legitimate function of legislative oversight? Well, first, I want to thank our government and uh, the president for doing everything possible to work with the Nigerian government to try to recover all of the girls that have been kidnapped. And we know it's more than 300. In so far as the terrorism that's going on, we know of many cells that are out there. Some are just small cells. Some are clearly uh, full-blown al-Qaeda operations. And so what we're trying to do is okay. do the best we can throughout the world, not just in Africa, but elsewhere. And so, as you know, whether it's Syria, whether it's Ukraine, whether it's parts of Africa, there's a lot going on. And I'm thankful that the president and this administration is going to go out there to try to make sure if the Nigerian government doesn't do it, we're going to try to help them recover those girls. So let's get back to Benghazi for a minute. Congressman, I just read the National Republican Congressional Committee offered to allow me to become a Benghazi watchdog for somewhere between $25 or a $500 contribution. So what I'd like to ask you, would you um, like to become a Benghazi watchdog? Well, I'd like to think as a member of Congress, I already get that privilege. Uh, obviously, this is a hot topic of the day. Uh, folks ask me about it when I go back to my district on the weekends. And uh, as I said earlier in the show, uh, both political uh, fundraising apparatuses drive whatever the hot. So it's okay with you to raise money off this issue. Well, I you're, think you're supporting I the think Democrats see, are not raising here's money the thing. off the, the Benghazi. The issue is this: the American people deserve answers, and if you want answers, it's going to require the House of Representatives to investigate. Which means they the have administration to, which means I should donate five hundred dollars to get the It means answers. that if you want answers from this administration, you want to maintain the House majority and grow it, because but for the House majority, the Republican House majority. This administration would be answering to so no one. So this is a base appeal? This is an appeal to people who want an, a, a, a check and balance on this administration. And right now, the only check and balance is the House Republican majority. So do you agree with Congressman Gowdy and Speaker Boehner that this NRC should not be uh, asking for money on this issue? I think I haven't read the fundraising appeal, okay? What I'm suggesting to you is that for me to go home to my constituents and say, the only reason we're going to get any answers on Benghazi is because we have a Republican majority in the House, and if you think that is important on all of these issues, not just Benghazi, IRS, and others, then you need to help me grow and maintain a Republican so, House so majority. That's, that's, that's legitimate. So, so, okay, last question. So I'll ask you the question that the NRCC asked. Will you automatically add your name today to join us and become a Benghazi watchdog? Like I said, I'm already a Benghazi watchdog. So let me just say, I actually do think, and I'll come back to this later, that there are some things that are clearly beyond the pale. And I think this is a zone where we ought to be much more careful about how we raise the money. Stay here. We want you at home to weigh in on today's fireback question. Is the Benghazi investigation a worthwhile use of taxpayer money? Tweet yes or no using hashtag Crossfire. We'll have the results after the break. We also have the outrages of the day. I'm outraged about what a Democratic congressman from Arizona is doing to raise money off of dead veterans. 